Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you guys? Hmm. For some reason, I'm looking at your screen. Me. Yep. Okay, there we go. So, how are you, Gloria? How are you, Ulysses? Fine, teacher. How about you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Welcome again. We're missing some students today. It's eight o'clock. So, how's it going? How's the quarantine going? Hello. <laughs> okay. Good working at home. Working at home. Great. Okay, guys. So let's get this started. I think you're just three right now. Second. Okay. So this is going to be 3 um, Gloria, me parece que sigue compartiendo su pantalla. Ay, y ven. <laughs> es que le quería poner foto, teacher, para que no se me vea así, pero no sé cómo hacerlo. Oh, cuando le... <laughs> no se preocupe. Okay, so let's start, guys. Um, we're going to talk today about a very important topic. We're going to see an, a new a new grammar tense. Um, if you check the platform, we're on lesson five. We're on lesson five right now. And we're going to talk about the present perfect for the first time. So it's very important for you to pay attention to this new topic. And I will give you a, <clears throat> a tip on how to how to acquire the grammar tense, this grammar tense really quick, okay? Yo les voy a decir cómo adquirir la estructura muy fácilmente. Es un nuevo tiempo gramatical, counselor. So let's go. Ulises, can you please read today's lesson objective? Yes, teacher. In this session, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is putting practice during the conversation. So yes, we have, thank you, Lisa. Thank you very much. So we're gonna practice first with the conversation that I already sent to your group, your WhatsApp group. So you can um, listen to it as many times as needed, okay? So let's pay attention first and then we will see the structure, okay? So let's pay attention. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Oh, okay, so... One second. <laughs> It was my bad. Okay, so if you paid attention, that was present perfect. Okay, that was present perfect. And present perfect in context. Let me repeat the conversation for you. 
and notice the contraction when you speak, okay? So listen, it's great to see you. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been to a club? Uh, oh, I got stuck, I'm sorry. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've, keep an eye on this. Yeah, I've already, I've already, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? How about a riverboat tour? Um, uh, I've already done that too. I've already done that too. I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? Have you ridden? Have you ridden in a streetcar? There are a lot of fun. There a lot of fun. There are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, so that was the conversation between um, these two characters. Now I want you to practice the conversation. How many are we now? We're 10, great, okay, so we're 10 now. Um, do you have any questions with the vocabulary? Alguien tiene preguntas con el nuevo vocabulario? Is there any new vocabulary? Okay, alguna pregunta, alguna palabra nueva? I've already been to one. I've already been to one. Okay. Where was it? I've already been to one. Yeah, I've already been to one. Sí, ya he estado en uno. Ya okay, he estado en uno. Excellent. De hecho, Gloria, ese es el tiempo que vamos a ver ahora. Yo he yes. comido, mm -hmm. yo he hablado, tú has estado. Present perfect. Uh -huh. Present perfect. Eh, esto nos sirve para hablar de experiencias eh, pasadas o algo que acaba de ocurrir, ¿ok? Como esto de I have already, I've already, I've already, I've already eaten ten pupusas. So, uh -huh. llegas a un lugar donde tu amigo y estaban por verse ahí, pero llegaste tarde y él ya se comió diez pupusas. Yo ya me he comido diez pupusas. I've already ate. I've already eaten, sorry, I've already eaten 10 pupusas. En este caso vamos a ocupar la tercera forma del verbo, que es el pasado participio. Ya vamos a ver despacio la estructura de, de, de ese nuevo tiempo gramatical. So, los voy a dividir, somos 10, vamos a hacer grupos bien pequeños de 3 para practicar la conversación. Ya se las envío al grupo para que cada quien la tenga en su dispositivo, ¿ok? So, let's get started so you can practice the conversation, ¿ok? Let me, okay. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and divide the group. Let's do it. Okay, please accept the invitation. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There you go, Jose, Kenya, Mirna. Oh, Kenya. Hello, Abigail. Uh, Abigail. Abigail. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh oh. Okay, Mirna. This is you one we are going to start. Okay. Yo empiezo, soy Jan. 
Mm, okay. It is great to see you, Tal. Have you been in New, in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show, to show you the city. The city had you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a river bath tour? Mm, I already done that too. Have you ridden in a, a strip car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. Take it easy. My feet are killing me. Ooh, great. Okay, very good, girls. So, um, a little bit of corrections. Let's see. Uh, we say show. Sh show. See? Show. Uh, it's not not like cho cho. No, you say show, like show. like show. When, when you are arriando gallinas, when you are arriando gallinas, and you go like sh show sh show. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Sure. Also, the word club in Spanish we say club, right? It's actually club, como o oh, club, mm -hmm. the cl club, the club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Y okay. Unir la, la pronunciación, ¿no? They are a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. They are a lot they of fun. A lot of fun. They, are they are a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay. A lot of a lot of fun. 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 A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Go. A lot of fun. Okay. Now do it again. Do it again. Okay. Kenya, I mean Abigail comes back, okay? I'm gonna go to a group, okay? We're just three groups. Okay, okay. Mirna, now I am young and you are tall. Si quiere usted, Felipe. Okay. Ah, pero, pero yo, yo ya fui todo. Ah, entonces. Iría, iría, iría emperatriz. Sí. Okay. One, two. Eh, <laughs> it's, it's great uh, to see you, Tol. Have you been in you, have you have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to Jazz Club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've, I've arrived, I am right on that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got, I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are really killing me. Really killing me. Really? My feet are no, killing me. Are killing <laughs> Sorry. Ah, <laughs> Felipe, empieza. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, Felipe, one, two, three, action. It's great to see you, Tor. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I already been to one. Oh, well, how about a river boat tour? Oh, I, I, I've already done that. I've already done that too. I've already done that too. Have you been in a street car? They are a lot of fun. <laughs> Te faltó, Felipe. They, they, are, they, are, they are a lot of fun. 
Actually, actually, that's how that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Excellent, very good. Esta, okay. las, demás, las demás conversaciones se me han hecho fácil. No tanto, pero es, uh, uh, es muy difícil. It's, it's complicated. Sí, está bien, está bien complicado. No sé qué pasa aquí. Come on, repeat. It's easy. It's easy. Ok, repeat. It's easy. 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 <laughs> hey, repeat. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Which means easy. Okay. Now, let's emphasize on your pronunciation. Don't worry, Ulises. You have to practice. That's it. So, okay. There is a sentence that you guys need to practice. The first one. There are a lot of fun. 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 Hey, practice. So then, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> My mother, my mother lives in New Orleans. New Orleans. New or New Orleans. Orleans. New, New Orleans. Orleans. Es un no es una e. New Orleans. Es una e, no una e. New Orleans. New Orleans. Orleans. There are some. Orleans. Yeah, some Americans actually say Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. That depends on the uh -huh. Okay, the next word, the next word is show, show. Okay, it's not show. El show, como decimos en español, el show, no, show, show. Como cuando se go, Okay, show, okay. Show, show. Next. Next, no es club, club, como solemos decir en español, es club, club. Club, club. club. I decía, club. You been, have you ever been to a jazz club? Have you been to a jazz club? Yeah. Club. To a jazz club, yes, yes. To a jazz club, yes. Uh-huh. Next, okay. how about a, listen, how about a riverboat? 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 No, yeah. no it's how about, it's how about, a, how about, about how, yes, it is how about a riverboat? A riverboat, something it said. How about a riverboat tour? How about a riverboat tour? How about a riverboat? How about a riverboat tour? How about a riverboat? How about a riverboat tour? Ah, next how word. Ridden, ridden. The the past participle of ride. You know when you ride a bicycle. Example, the past participle. Exactly. To, uh, but in this case, it's reading. reading. Read is the past participle. So you have write, uh -huh. write, write, reading, I think. Write, read, read. Oh, so the past participle is oh. written. Okay, write, wrote, reading is write, wrote, reading. So we're looking at the third. Uh, the right. Road is the past. Road is the past, yes. And then you have the yes, reading is the participio. Past participle, exactly. Okay, reading. And, and then you have, I've already done that. Listen, I've. Okay. I've. 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 already. Perfect. I've already done that. Good. Kind of. Listen, I've already. I've already. I've already. I've already. I've already. I've already. I've already, I've already, I've already, I've already done that. I've already done that too. Yeah, perfect. I've already done that too. I've already done that too. I've already done that. I've already. Done that too. I've already done that. Okay. Teacher, can, can you can you repeat? I've already exactly. Okay. I've already. I've 
fast. Already. I've already done that too. I've already done that. Ah, okay. Como decir, I've already. I've already. I've already done that too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm missing one group, okay? Just one second. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> The city. How you been to a just cloud jet? Yeah, I've really been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I've I really done that too. How you reading in a streetcar? There a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Perfect, okay. Guys, let's repeat some words that you need to pronounce better, okay? Listen, the first one is show. 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 Yeah, it's not show. Cho. It's not show. Vamos a ver el show. No. Show. 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 Exactly. Like when you go like show. show. There you go. Oh. oh. Exactly. Show. Next word, Next word is, is not club. Let's go to the club. No. Club. 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 Mm -hmm. club. Okay, then you have, oh. they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. Recuerden que la R les obliga a hacer la lengua hasta atrás. Okay, so vamos a hacer, they're, they're a lot, a lot of fun. There you go, they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. Okay, next word. New New Orleans, Orleans, New Orleans. New Orleans. So, next word. How about a riverboat tour? How about how? Listen. How about a how about a how about a how about a? Lo une. About a. You join it. Remember, you join it. Joint. Joint. So, how about a river? About a, about a river. So, good, Karen. Very good. So, how about a? How about a? About a. Very about a river boat. So, do we have the present of the verb montar o manejar? Bicicletas, motocicletas, caballos. Okay. You say ride, ride, road, ridden. Right, and you have written. I've written. I okay, okay. The next one. I've already done that. So you have I've. Come on. I've. I've. Already. Already. Done that. Done that. Already done that. Very good, oh, I've already done that. Listen, I've already done that too. I've already done that too. There you go. Okay. And that, you don't say here, you say here, here, here. Okay. Aquí, here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, here. 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 That's how I got here. That's how I got here. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go back. Okay. 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 Okay, everybody's coming back. Okay, we're almost back. Okay, so we are 11 now, uh, welcome, who was it, Adonai, welcome, just in time. Thank you, teacher. You're just, okay. just in time for 
the next topic. Um, so let's talk about this new grammar tense. Vamos a hablar de este nuevo tiempo gramatical que es el presente perfecto. Ya les voy a explicar por qué se le llama así, cuándo se utiliza. Okay, so voy a reproducir el video. I'm going to play the video so we can all listen to the next um, part of this class, which is very extensive. We have present perfect already and yet. In this session, we will study the present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participle. ¿Por qué dice con regulares e irregulares? Aclaración. El pasado participio, o sea, la tercera forma de los verbos, de los verbos regulares, también es un pasado simple. O sea, el pasado simple de un verbo regular también es el pasado participio. Uh, an example will be miss, extrañar, missed, pasado simple, y el pasado perfecto, el pasado participio, perdón, sería missed mismo, miss, 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 hit, 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 and so on. El, el listado de verbos que les envié, ahora vamos a empezar a utilizar la tercera columna que dice pasado participio. So let's pay attention to the following video about the structure of the present perfect, okay? One second. Okay, please pay attention. She has worked in the bank for oh. five years. Hi, in this lesson we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. Okay, good. Me voy a detener en este momento. Vamos a empezar ya a introducirnos en los usos del presente perfecto. So, el primer uso es para expresar acciones que empezaron en el, un punto en el pasado y continúan en el presente. Quiero que noten eh, la gramática utilizada en español. Por eso les estoy hablando en español. Porque es muy importante que cada vez que ustedes vean un tiempo gramatical por primera vez, se ubiquen en el español. Eso funciona. A mí me funciona, les ha funcionado a muchos alumnos. So, ya hemos visto yo como todos los días 
presente simple. Okay. Yo comí ayer. Okay. Pasado simple. Yo comeré mañana. Futuro. Yo voy a comer mañana. También en futuro. Y ahora estamos viendo. Ella ha trabajado en el banco por cinco años. Hablo de una experiencia que aún continúa. Ok. We have had the same car for 10 years. Hemos tenido. Ojo. El mismo carro por 10 años. Nosotros hemos tenido, hoy hemos tenido el mismo carro por 10 años. A ver, tener. El verbo have es el auxiliar de este tiempo. Entonces, uno es el auxiliar, have, y el verbo en pasado participio, had, sería el verbo principal de la oración en positivo que estamos ocupando acá como ejemplo. ¿Ok? Segundo uso del presente perfecto. When we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. Cuando hacemos referencia a una acción. Hmm. Ah, perdón. A un periodo indefinido. Un periodo del tiempo de, eh, sin finalizar. Por ejemplo, I have worked hard this week. He trabajado duro esta semana. Y aún no se termina, no se sabe. Si ya terminó ese periodo de tiempo, si aún es la semana. It has rained a lot this year. Ha llovido mucho este año. Ok, aún no termina el año. Sí, ok. We haven't seen her today. No la hemos visto hoy. El día aún no termina, entonces aún extenderemos eso. Por eso se llama presente perfecto. Es ahorita, en este momento... Sin embargo, la acción aún no termina, viene del pasado, ¿sí? Por eso es presente perfecto, ¿ok? Siguiente uso. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. Acciones repetitivas en un punto, un periodo específico de tiempo entre el presente y el pasado. ¿Cómo así? They have seen that film six times. Ellos han visto... Esa película seis veces. Yo le llamaría una experiencia. ¿Ok? Acciones repetidas y se siguen dando. We have eaten at that restaurant many times. Hemos comido en ese restaurante muchos tiempos. Muchas veces, perdón. Muchas veces. ¿Ok? So, we're going to talk about the structure of the present perfect. And just one more thing. Una cosa más aún. Hay que hablar de los... Um, de los adverbios que podemos utilizar en este tiempo, adverbios de frecuencia. So, We have listen. eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Cuando el tiempo no es relevante o no se sabe en qué momento ocurrió. O no importa a veces. Cuando te digo, por ejemplo, I have bought a new cell phone. I have bought a new cell phone. I have bought a new cell phone. He comprado un nuevo celular. No importa cuándo lo hice, lo importante es que he comprado un nuevo celular. Someone has eaten my soup. No se sabe cuándo ocurrió. Lo que importa es que alguien se ha comido mi sopa, como dijo el osito, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. Now let's talk about already and yet. Vamos a hablar de estos dos que ambos significan ya. Ya. Ok. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. ¿Sí? Examples. With, had, or breakfast, por ejemplo. Yo puedo eliminar eso, miren. We've had our breakfast. ¿Ok? Hemos comido, diría, si no estuviese este a de frecuencia acá. Y sí, digo, we've already, we've already. ¿Sí? Nosotros ya hemos comido. Así, nosotros ya hemos desayunado. Eso sería. Eh, nótese que está en una oración positiva el already, ¿ok? When are you going to do your homework? Pregunta. But I've already done it. But I've already done it. Pero ya la he hecho, ¿ok? Ahí ocupamos already. Va antes del pasado participio, el verbo en pasado participio, ¿ok? Next. Yet. Vamos a hablar de yet. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. Uy, yet significa que algo que esperábamos ya ha ocurrido o no ha ocurrido. Okay? 
We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Muy importante. Yet siempre va, bueno, típicamente va al final de una oración. Se ocupan preguntas y negativas. ¿Ok? Has the post arrived yet? Has the post arrived yet? Y se lee al revés. Ya vino el correo. Ya ha venido el correo. Have you done your homework? Not yet. Negativa. Not yet. No aún. Aún no. Ella se lee como aún. ¿Ok? Haven't you got or haven't you got ready yet? Haven't you got ready yet? ¿Aún no te has alistado? ¿Aún no te has alistado? ¿O ya te alistaste? Dependerá de la traducción, ¿no? Look at the time. Mira la hora que es. Ok. Good. Soy español. Spanglish ya estoy. Los oigo bien callados. Questions. Very well. I'm confused. I'm confused. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> Sorry. Ma. Eh, bien, vamos a hablar de la estructura para aclarar las dudas. Eh, acá. Bien, vamos a dedicar esta, esta, esta clase estrictamente a entender la estructura. Y esto es algo que de nuevo ustedes pueden hacer desde su casa con un cuaderno y un lápiz de muchos uh, colores. So, let's see, Emperatriz, give me a verb, any verb. B. B, mm -hmm. which means se start, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Now give me a a subject. Uh, I. I. Okay. So, uh -huh. vamos a ver la estructura primero. This is the structure for a positive sentence. Okay. Thank you, Imperatriz. So we have positive. We have, you know what? Let me do something here really quick. Give me one second. Here it is. Ok. Voy a enseñarles otra cosa mejor. Para ahorrarnos tiempo en la escritura y todo eso. Ok. Vamos a ir por partes. Y les voy a enviar esta imagen porque es mi favorita cuando hablamos del presente perfecto. Bien. ¿Cuál es la estructura del presente perfecto, chicos? Vayan viendo cómo está estructurada esta imagen, ¿eh? Les va a servir muchísimo. So, tenemos una oración afirmativa. La estructura sería... Eh, ¿Todos están viendo la pantalla? ¿Sí? Yes, pero no sale yeah. nada, solo se escucha su voz y sale como cargando. Ok, thank you. Yo mm, sí la escucho a ella. Yes. Ahora sí. Ok, ya ven a vos. Yeah. Good. So, let's go with the structure. Vamos a ver la estructura. Structure. Afirmación. Tengo un subject pronoun. Ok. O un noun. El auxiliar de este tiempo es have o has. Es decir, por ser presente, respeto la regla de las terceras personas con el verbo have. Pero él se convierte en mi auxiliar. Él va a estar en el positivo, en el negativo, y a ese le voy a agregar la negativa. A él lo voy a traer al principio para hacer una pregunta cerrada. ¿Ya? Entonces, yeah. volviendo, afirmativa o positiva, sujeto, el auxiliar y el pasado participio. Tres elementos nada más. Sujeto, auxiliar, pasado participio. ¿Qué es el pasado participio? Yo les envío un listado de verbos, ¿se acuerdan? Yes. yes. Ok. Yes. yes. Can you say again, teacher? Sorry. Please. Can I what? Can you send? Can, can you send again? Send it again. Send it again. De, de, de los verbos. Yeah, repeat. Send it again. Uh -huh. 
send it again. Send it again. So can you send, send it again, please? Yes. It's casi como aragán. Es lo que estamos hablando. Aclaratoria. Los verbos, no. los verbos regulares, el pasado y el pasado participio son el mismo. Ok, so ahí no hay tercera columna. Mm -hmm. Notado, so act, acted, at, added, aid, aided, and so on. De los irregulares, si sí cambian por completo su forma y ese es el dolor de cabeza, ¿no? Arise, arose, horizon. Ok, let's see another one, a more common one. Vamos uno más común. Mira, cost, cost, cost. Ok. Cut, cut, cut. Deal, deal, deal. Dig, dog, dog. Ojo con este. Do, did, done. Ahora, veamos el que me dijo Emperatriz. Where is it? No está. It's not here. Oh my God. It's not here. The verb to be. Wow. So, be is was, where, been. Y eso es lo que vamos a ocupar ahorita. Ok. Repito. Tercera columna en los verbos irregulares. Eso es lo que vamos a ocupar ahora. Ok. Going back. Volviendo al cuadro. Entonces, ese es el pasado participio. Y ubicándolos aún más en el pasado participio. Hoy, I have done my homework. Presente sería, quito el auxiliar y diría, I do my homework. Yo hago mi tarea. Yo hice mi tarea. I did my homework. Yo he hecho mi tarea. ¿Ok? No se ve nada. Ok. Hacer. Hice. Hecho. Escribir. Escribí. Escrito. Correr. Corrí. Corrido. Bes besar, besé, besado. Mirar, miré, mirado. ¿Ya? Es la tercera forma en la que estamos. Nos ubicamos hoy, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. <risa> Bien. ¿Se entendieron cuál es el auxiliar? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar, Gloria, de este tiempo? Have, has. Muy bien. Have, has, Felipe. Good. Negativa. Teacher, I, I don't see you. Uh, you don't see the screen? I don't, I don't see the... Uh -huh. Okay, good. How about now? How about now? Yes. Okay. Good. Emperatriz? Yes, yes, thank you. You're welcome. So, negativa. Por eso les digo siempre, fíjense cuál es el auxiliar. Si ustedes identifican el auxiliar, entenderán que el auxiliar puede que vaya en el positivo, ¿eh? Si no va, pues no. Pero a ese, en el negativo, le vas a agregar el not. Con él vas a jugar para hacer contracciones como las que veías en el video. Haven't. Hasn't. Si es tercera persona. ¿Ok? A él lo vas a traer al principio para hacer una pregunta cerrada. Y si te fijas, en este cuadrito son tres partículas para armar una oración. O so, sea, tenés pronombre... Have not o haven't, has not o hasn't, y siempre el pasado participio. Ojo, uh -huh. ojo, aquí el pasado participio aplica en positivo, negativo, pregunta. Aquí no es que porque ve el auxiliar, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. No, olvídate de aquello, borrón y cuenta nueva, ¿ok? Y si uh -huh. yes. a una pregunta cerrada, have you done your homework? Siempre contesto con el auxiliar, yes, I have, no. I haven't. Entonces, ¿cómo yo me meto esto en la cabeza, esta nueva estructura? ¿Cómo hago la dieta que les he indicado, no? Les he recomendado. So, ya tengo la estructura. Ok, tengo B. Decía, a ver, esperatriz por ahí. So, yo podría decir I, ok, contractuarlo de una sola vez. I been to New Orleans. Es decir, tipo ahí, Orleans. Ok, I've been to New Orleans. ¿Cuál sería el negativo? ¿Mm? I haven't. Uh, sorry. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. There you go. What is the question? Espérenme, espérate, tenías una pregunta. 
Ah, oh, no, no. Yo le pregunté si usted me había preguntado algo que escuché mi nombre como así con interferencia. <laughs> no, no, no. Ok. No, respondía que tú no había dado el verbo, ¿no? So, a ver, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? Ocupo el auxiliar. I También, have you. Sí, igual, eso. Oh, sí, en have you. Recuerden que existen las preguntas retóricas, ¿no? Si me dicen, have you sí. been to New Orleans? Y yo les digo, have I been to New Orleans? Have I been to New Orleans? <risa> <risa> oh, que si yo he estado en New Orleans. Ajá. A mí me está tengo dinero. <risa> have you been? Bien. Hasta ahí todo bien. Vamos adelante, pero esto lo vamos a ver uh, después, ¿no? Eh, después vamos a ver cómo agregar una WH que es tan fácil como agregarlo al principio. ¿Ok? Eh, podría decir, why have you been to New Orleans? Why have you been to New Orleans? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué has estado en New Orleans? No se suponía que iba a estar. The answer. Ok, the answer here. Let's go with the answer. Yes, I have. O, oh, negative. No. I have. Uh, aquí no se contractúa. ¿no? Bueno, sí, eh, acá está, perdón. I haven't, no, I haven't. Pero el I've, I've not, no, no se podría decir en negativa. No, I've not, se sí, No, I haven't. Ok. Why have you been to New, why have you been to New Orleans? Oh, because, oh, because I was sick. I'm thinking it's by. Okay. Because by was sick. Okay. Because Margarita was sick, so I had to stop. Okay. Um, because I have never been there. Puedo contestar con el presente perfecto también. Because I have never been there before, so I had uh, to stop. I wanted to know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Vamos con otro verbo, ok, want. Eh. Ok, y esto, es, esto lo hago cinco veces todos los días. Cinco verbos diferentes, aplico diferentes sujetos, ok. Want, ok, vamos a ocupar el sujeto en tercera persona, she. Decían por ahí en el video, puedo hacer esto. ¿Por qué? She has... Uh -huh. Teacher, pero ¿y qué, qué, qué me va a hacer entender a mí que esto no es presente y no estoy diciendo she is? Ah, el verbo. El verbo está en pasado. El auxiliar. Sí. ¿Qué? Este es el auxiliar, emperatriz. Aquí estoy diciendo she has. She has. ¿Ya? Ajá. Inform the verb past. El participio sería, entonces. Yes. El verbo ah. pasado participio. She participio. Ok. Ok. No sé qué estoy escribiendo. She's wanted to tell you about it. She has wanted to tell you about it the whole afternoon. Ok. Positive. She's wanted, she wanted to tell you about it the whole afternoon. Ella ha querido, ojo, ella ha querido decirte Acerca de eso, toda la tarde. Y no le has hablado, no le has dejado que hable. Ok, ok. Next, negative. She hasn't. Wanted to tell you about it the whole afternoon. Ok. Question. Has she? Has she? Noten que el complemento cambia el complemento. And she wanted to tell you about it the whole afternoon. She want, has she wanted to tell you about it the whole afternoon? Eso, puse ese ejemplo porque quería que, que escucharan esa, esa uh, contracción, ¿no? She's wanted, to, she's wanted to tell you about it. She's wanted to tell you about it the whole Afternoon. She hasn't told you about it the whole afternoon. Has she wanted to tell you about it the whole afternoon? 
Wanneru, 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 wanneru. Wanneru, wanneru. 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 She hasn't wanted to tell you. She hasn't wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. Oh. Wanneru, wanneru. One more. One more. The verb have. Okay. Then there. Okay. So hmm. he has had. Oh. Okay. His have a porch. Yeah. Porch. Okay. He's had a porch before. El ha tenido un porch antes. Okay. Okay. Hasn't. Oh. Yeah. Excellent. Four. Okay. And last will be the question. Has he had a porch? Yes. Or? Has he had? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So here you have the main verb, the verbo principal. Okay. Y no se les olvide ocupar diferentes colores para identificar el auxiliar, para identificar el verbo principal. Cuando sea un verbo nuevo, cuando sea una palabra nueva, subrayarla, ponerle otro color y su cerebro se va a grabar automáticamente esa palabra. Primero yo veo. Ok. Questions. Preguntas. Yeah. Si uso auxiliares, ¿en qué posición irían en esa estructura, teacher? Eh, perdón, eh, al verbo de frecuencia. Al verbo de frecuencia. Vamos allá, como dice, lo, como dice mi cuñada, vamos allá, dominicana. Un saludo para mí, que nos está viendo desde República, no, desde Estados Unidos, ok. Oh. <ríe> so, vamos bien con positivo o negativo pregunta. Let's go with the adverbs, ¿ok? Mm. Ya vimos los usos. Aquí están los usos. Cuando se les, les imagen, ustedes pueden ver. Eh, Todos ven la imagen, perdón. Yeah. Ok. Entonces, estos son los usos. Acciones que acaban de concluir. I, I've cut my finger. I cut my finger. Acabo de cortar el dedo. Ok. Ya casi terminamos. Adverbios. ¿A dónde van? Fíjense bien en este cuadro, analícenlo, hagan ese ejemplos propios con ellos. Ya. Estos son los adverbios que están con el presente perfecto. Just, so far, ever, never, already, and yet. Que son los dos que hemos visto acá. I have already. Van a ir antes del, del verbo en pasado participio. Eh, emperatriz, serían antes del verbo en, par, en el pasado participio. Después del auxiliar. Según ese ejemplo, eh, van después del auxiliar y antes del pasado antes del verbo de pasado participio. Correcto, excepto yet. Siempre va al final. Excepto so far. Hasta, uh, ahora. Hasta ahora, so far. Vayan viendo el ejemplo, vean dónde está ubicado, eso me llega. I have just eaten, I have eaten sushi three times so far. Have you ever, mira, have you ever eaten sushi? ¿Alguna vez has comido sushi? I have never eaten sushi. I have already eaten. I haven't eaten yet. Yet se ocupan preguntas en negativas. Ok. Uh, investiguen esto un poco, el yet y el already. Ok, más al breve de frecuencia okay. que es a cada uno. Y por último tenemos prepositions. Since and for. Estas son bien utilizadas. ¿Por qué? Porque since quiere desde y for quiere decir por y como estoy ocupando como estoy ocupando un tiempo gramatical que me sirve para hablar de experiencias en el pasado que probablemente continúen hasta ahora. Eh, tengo que decir desde o por, y es muy útil. From a starting point in the past, desde un punto de inicio en el pasado, ocupo desde. I haven't eaten sushi since last year. No he comido sushi desde 
el año pasado. Four, I haven't eaten sushi for three years. No he comido sushi por tres años. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen you for a long time. I haven't seen you for three years. Okay? Good. Sé que hay muchas preguntas ahorita, pero les voy a enviar ahorita este cuadrito. Okay. Dedíquenle una hora de esta noche a, a esta vigilia, digo, a, a practicar esto, a agarrar la estructura, ¿sí? Investigar un poquito más y créanme, lo van a agarrar súper rápido. Saquen preguntas para hacerlas el día de mañana, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta urgente? Still have to... Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. ¿Qué significa so far? So far. Se ocupa muchísimo con el presente perfecto. I haven't... Um, so far, y se puede el principio de la oración. So far, I haven't told you about it. So far, I haven't told you about it. Hasta ahora no he dicho acerca de eso. Oh, I haven't told you about it so far. Hasta ahora, eso. ¿Ok? Ok. Practice, practice. Ok, guys. So far. See you tomorrow. Please study. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Happy Fisher. Happy Fisher.